I will tell you the story of my people, Seth. Long ago, our ancestors were Bird Woman's children. Paranua was her nest. She laid her egg here for us to worship. Its bounty was without limit and life for our people was easy. But one day, Kalu the fisherman set foot on an island no one had ever seen. It was the kingdom of Standing God. Having woken the god, the fisherman came back to Paranua. Our ancestors prayed that Standing God would never find the home of the mortal man who had interrupted his sleep. But soon, a great storm came and killed many of our people. And the sacred egg of Bird Woman was hatched by lightning. Standing God had found us, and he took the power away from the egg. Now he was our God, and we feared his anger. The father of my father's father had a statue made in the image of Standing God, so that our people could worship him. But they could not stand the God up, because he was so heavy. Standing God's anger was swift, and a sickness fell on Paranoia, killing more than half our people. Since then, we sacrifice one of our number each month to appease Standing God and to pay for our sacrilege. Here is Standing God. Uh, not the real one, of course. But his spirit is here. Where is the real Standing God? I want to see him. Oh, much too dangerous. He's too angry. Why? Because our statue does not stand. That is why we sacrifice one of our number every month. To appease the God's wrath. Soon, it'll be my daughter's turn to feed the sharks of chastisement. Naka? Uh, or Samar, a twin. Every day my people pray for the statue to stand. But our prayers go unanswered. Another of your wooden birds, Seth. Friend or foe? <laughs> the crabs can't race twice in one day. Sat! Hector! I was afraid you and the queen were dead. Aha! The crabs chose well. Ah, they always do. I chose the crabs, your majesty. They're true, but they directed your choice. I thought I might find you here. Who crashed the big flyer up there? A pilot called Jomar. He's dead. This is his majesty. King Honalai. My respects, Your Majesty. Welcome to Paranua, Hector. Where's the Queen? After we left you at Karbanek, Rhea said she no longer deserved to be Queen, since she'd betrayed the secret of the hidden knowledge's whereabouts. Gimbus and the Commander forced her to tell them, Hector. I know, but she refused to return to Atlantis. She said she'd forfeited the right to rule, and the destiny of Atlantis lay in other hands, and Creon's are in yours. So where did you take her? She told me of a refuge, a place called Shambhala, and asked me to take her there. You say you took Rhea to a place called Shambhala? Tell me more. It's a strange place, Seth. Their queen, who's called Marta, told me that long ago our people lived far to the north in a place of ice and snow. She said you knew the place. Yes, I was there. Some of the people discovered what she called the Dark Heart and fell under its power. There was a civil war between those who had the Dark Heart and the others. The others won and then they left. Most of them went to Atlantis, taking the Dark Heart which they'd imprisoned. But a handful refused to stay near the thing because it was too dangerous. So they traveled east. And founded Shambhala? Exactly. The people there are different from us. They seem almost unreal, outside of time. Marta said they'll stay hidden from the rest of the world forever. Who's Marta? I told you, the Queen of Shambhala. But why did Rhea want to go to Shambhala? I told you. She didn't think she could be queen again. Then what's she going to do? She's going to stay there. When I left, she'd already half forgotten Atlantis and Creon. Hector, that's not possible. But it's true. When you're there, it's as if the rest of the world didn't exist. You start to forget. 
Rhea wanted to forget everything, Sid. Even I was starting to forget when Martyr told me to follow you here. Did Martyr say anything about Creon? She said only you could stop him. If you don't, he'll turn the dark heart on the world. This statue is standing, God. Um, this may sound like a stupid question, but how come he's lying down? Is it his bedtime? This is a bad moment for making jokes, Hector. Unless you fancy some crab racing? Crab racing? Never mind. Just be respectful. The people here can't get the statue to stand up. It's too heavy. Is that what you came here for? To erect a statue? I may have come to the wrong place. It seems the original standing god's on another island. I have a feeling that's where I should be, but Honolai says going there would be too dangerous. The god would be very angry. Why? Because the statue here isn't standing. So if you got it to stand, Honolai might tell you how to get to the original standing god. What are you doing to standing god? I'm trying to get him to stand, your majesty. Be careful, Seth. If you hurt him, his vengeance will be awful. But if I can stand him up, will you help me find the real standing god? The god Kalu saw? If you can, I will. What I want you to do is use your flyer to stand the statue up. I don't think I can. It's too heavy. Will you try? I'll need help. Someone with me. Concentrate with me, Seth. How? Project the idea of movement into the flyer's crystal. Uh, all right. It's no good, Seth. It started to move, but we didn't have enough power. We can try again if you want. Concentrate as hard as you can. I'll try. Sorry, Seth. It's not gonna work. Not enough power, is that the problem? Exactly. My daughter has power. She'll help if we ask her. Wait, Seth, I'll call her. <clears throat> Sama, come out here. Yes, Father? We need your magic, Sama. I have no magic, Father. Naka is the one with power. Uh, oh, so she is. Uh, Naka, come out here. Who are these men, Father? Later, girl. What did I tell you, Seth? They're completely uncontrollable. You wanted me, Father? Ah, Sama, there you are. I'm Naka, Father. Uh, must you enter my there every time I open my mouth, child? I want you to use your power to help Hector here. He and I are in harmony, Father. Yeah, well, just hop onto the wooden bird and do what Hector says.
We did it, Naka. Bird Woman sent you. To help us with the god. Don't tell father I said so. The men are too afraid of standing god to admit their love for Bird Woman. Naka, you're perfect. I think the same about you, Hector. We're in harmony. This is indeed a great day for our people, Seth. The crabs chose most wisely. They always do, Your Majesty. The god is no longer angry with the people of Paranua. Standing God showed his mercy and sent you to us. And you needn't sacrifice either of your daughters. We are greatly indebted to you and your friend. Will you tell me where the other god is? The one that Kula the fisherman saw? You wish to go there? What if he is angered by your presence? He won't be. He knows we raised the statue. Tell me where to find him, and Hector can fly me there. No, Sama will take you in my boat. I owe you that much. But Hector must stay here. If Standing God shows signs of anger, your friend will be sacrificed to him. Do you agree to this? I can't leave Hector as a hostage, Honolai. Yes, you can, sir. What is there to fear? A storm? Somebody dying? The statue falling down, anything could happen, and it would be the god expressing his anger. What choice do you have? We can look for the place, Hector. It can't be all that far. We're bound to find it. Now, I won't stop you from leaving if that's what you wish, but I won't tell you where to find Standing God. It could take weeks, Seth, even months. This ocean is huge. Agree to Honolai's offer. I'm not afraid. Well, do you accept? Then let's go to the boat. You will stay here with Hector, Naka. Seth and I are going to see Sama. After you, Seth. Uh, Sama, uh, you're the one who reads maps? Yes, Father. Good. I want you to take Seth to where the fisherman Kula saw the standing god. Aren't you afraid of his anger, Seth? No, Sama. Naka and Hector raised the statue. Standing God must be pleased. I've never seen the map that leads to that place, Father. It is here, child. Look. It's the map Kula made when he came back. The winds and currents and other islands are all marked. The map is clear, Father. The voyage will take no more than three days. Go then, my daughter. 